All right, everybody, welcome to today's Tech Talk Tuesday. Today's video, we're gonna go ahead and install this new tow hook from Ipsco on the front of my Dodge Viper. Now, the reason I'm putting the tow hook on Viper is not because I plan on tracking the car, uh, it's so that way I can move it around since the engine's got a failure in it right now. So my driveway that I have here is actually at quite an angle, and so while it's really easy to push the Viper down it, getting it back up is a bit of a struggle and you're not gonna really just push it back up. So go ahead, install the tow hook on the front here so that way we can pull the Viper onto the lift and do the other work on it that I've got planned before we send it out to have the engine rebuilt and also get it out of the way so that way I have um, more area to do other stuff on this side of the garage. Now it's gonna be probably another month or so before we go ahead and get the Viper moved onto the lift because uh, as you know, if you saw my Challenger update video, I need to go ahead and pull that transmission out and I'm gonna do that while it's on the lift because using the lift and my transmission jack is a lot easier than doing it on the ground on jack stand and laying the transmission on my chest like I used to do. So we've got a lot of stuff planned here for the Viper uh, going future because I went ahead and ordered some uh, variety of stuff from Ipsco to do while I have the car up on the lift and in the air, easy to get access to underneath. But for now, let's go ahead, get this tow hook installed and show you the process. It looks super easy. The instructions that they sent are uh, only three steps long. So we'll go ahead, show you how it's done and then call it a day. All right, so the instructions call to remove these two nuts, but actually on the driver's side, not the passenger side. But looking at it through here, they look to be symmetrical and I don't see why I couldn't remove them from the passenger side and install the tow hook on that side. Um, so if there's anybody out there that sees a problem with installing on the passenger side versus the driver's side, feel free to put those comments down below since it is gonna be about a month or so before I actually put this tow hook to use. There's a little bit of time before uh, we go ahead and make that move. So they said to go ahead and use a, it's a 15 millimeter socket and then a eight inch or longer extension to remove those two nuts. Now, go ahead, pull those out. And then they also are going to putting a towel down just to protect the paint. And then you slide it in there, put it on the studs, go ahead and reinstall the nuts. Two. All right, and there's a little bit of side to side adjustment you can make there. I'd say it looks pretty good. And then put the ratchet back on and tighten them up and call it a day. All right, it really was that easy. Just go ahead, pull two nuts off, put it in place, put the nuts back on and call it a day. So super easy install to go ahead and put that Ipsco tow hook in place. So now I've got a good way to go ahead and attaching point for going forward when I wanna go ahead and pull the Viper up onto the lift in the coming weeks. So I hope you found this information useful. As always, if you did, go ahead, smash that like button, give me that thumbs up. And if you wanna kept update with all my future uploads, don't forget to smash that subscribe button down below and ring the notification bell as well so that YouTube will keep you updated with all of my future uploads. And as always guys, I will see you the next video.